So a really quick overview on what we've done so far or recap. We have created below here this server code, which what it does is in TypeScript and TypeScript node, so Node.js, but running in TypeScript, we import the WebSocket server class from the WS library. This is a node library, and we also have installed the types. We set a port, and we create a new WebSocket server with that port. Then we create a WebSocket handler and just a log, you know, what port we're listening at. And on this connection handler, what we do is that we get this handler to be called every time there's a new connection from a client. And we receive the client that is WS. And then we can say, okay, every time each of these new clients that connect send a message, we're going to log it. We get that data. And every time that somebody connects, we're going to send them a welcome message, some welcome message from the server. So we could do that. So that's all the code that we need in terms of the server. That's a minimal. We can do more logic, add more logic to it later. And then this is the code for the client. It's also a TypeScript script, and we import the same library, this time the WebSocket library, the entire library, instead of just the WebSocket server. We create a new WebSocket client with the URL built with localhost because it's the machine at which we're creating the server as well. This is the WebSocket protocol instead of HTTP or HTTPS. And then the port that we have specified on the other application as well. Here we could actually just do this. So this is parameterized and this could come from somewhere else. And then here we have two handlers. We could have more. We could have, for example, the uh, on close, on message, on open, on error. Uh, but right now we just have two on this example. We have the on open. So every time this opens, we log that we have connected and we send a first message to the server, right? That Then the server can decide what to do. It could broadcast it to other clients. And the message here uh, from the server, we say, okay, we receive a message from the server and then we print it. That's all the logic that we've added. And maybe here we can put a note broadcast to other clients. And this could be a to-do, right? That's what we could do maybe next week. Okay, so this is our server code and this is our client code. And here probably what we want to do is to do add handlers for JSON messages that contain method and params. And for that, I'm going to take a look, really quick look at our WebSocket client that we had before to see what convention we had there. And yeah, I can see that Prasad, you're connected from Mumbai, India. Thanks for connecting online with us. We're wrapping up here. We'll be finishing really soon. But I encourage you to this video and to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and want to get notified when I go live next. And we are using, yeah, method and params. Okay. So those files that we have done in here. So I'm going to put down the chat and I'm going to do add those to Discord and to the video description, if I remember. So this is the client and this is the server. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you are enjoying the content on the channel, please like this video to support my work and subscribe if you're going to get notified when I go live next or when I upload new videos. And you can also uh, join us on Discord, on uh, Northern Massa's Discord. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.